Uh, Scott's out of town this weekend, but in two more Wednesdays, he's going to start a class on spiritual formation. A lot of you were so interested in the breath prayer and the other kind of prayers that I did in the sermon that he's going to teach a class that goes through different ways of doing spiritual formation in your life and prayer, and then you'll, you'll learn about it, but also practice it during the class. And so uh, everybody will get a chance to, to learn about the prayer or learn about the way of doing spiritual formation and then practicing it. And don't forget Gail's class. If you've never done a disciple class, Gail's class is the, my favorite disciple class. There's Genesis, Exodus, Luke, and Acts. And uh, it's a really, really exciting class. On the office side of things, uh, we've got our new phone system in, but it's still going through our old server, which messes it up sometimes. On next Thursday, we go straight over to the cloud, which is um, a remote-based computing, which means our system should run a whole lot better. Uh, so thank you, trustees, for getting that together for us. And um, soon and very soon, you'll be able to call up to the office when we're not here and hear a message that says if you want the pastor, dial this, if you want the secretary, and all those kind of things, and you can actually leave real-life voicemail. So <clears throat> we're going to get into the 1990s within about two weeks, okay? Uh, we're really going to get there. Don't forget that we've redone the playground, right? We put pea gravel over in the garden. We're looking at some other things for the garden. Uh, we're doing all kinds of work on our facilities pretty much all the time. Some of the proje other projects we're looking at that are coming up are lighting in our sanctuary. Our old dimmer system, as you can well tell by the lights going on and off during worship, is going out. So we're looking at that. We're looking at re redoing some parts of our sound system. So the trustees are always busy. If you'd like to help them out with anything or you have expertise in an area, please let Frank know because they can use the help. There's just a few of them, and they do really, really, really good job. The Arredondos make a difference in our church, don't they? Amen. I, I tell you, I've eaten lunch with uh, them a couple of times, and it's always a great thing to do if you have time on those Wednesdays, right, to go eat lunch and do planning for the garden and all that. And if you've never been out in the garden and gotten dirty, it's a lot of fun. But I do want to tell you, I think she missed something in the, in the whole presentation, and that is... We're going to have a worm ranch, not a worm farm, because uh, we want to be able to herd those worms, right? Um, <clears throat> I want to let you know a few things. Uh, I think that the Pastor Parish Relations Committee has done an incredible job of getting us some new staff members. And that's one of them is Brian, who, who does things wrong and gets, gets people to join our church. Um, and then the, we've got, of course, Allison, right? She's going to speak to us in just a little bit about children's ministry. But we also have um, Brenda, and who's keeping our bathrooms and kitchens up to snuff and, and in good shape. And, and that was one of the smartest things I think we've done in a really long time in making sure that stuff got done. So thank our staff, pat them on the back. <laughs> Friends, I have some great people to work with at this church and they make me look good and that is their job description. Make the pastor look better, right? So uh, thank you for doing your jobs because I feel like a, a million dollars because of the staff we have. Don't forget, tell your Sunday school class to start gathering candy in October for trunk or treat. You need to start the beginning of October for trunk or treat. I personally gave out over 2,000 pieces of candy, one piece per kid, last year at trunk or treat. 2,000 pieces. That's one at a time. It was a blast. I tell you, it was just so much fun. Um, who else? If you want to get a word in, um, go ahead, choir. Fall Fest. Fall Fest is on October 27th. It is the weekend before Trunk or Treat. Uh, but if, you, if you're thinking about going ahead and getting something ready for Fall Fest to uh, put in a Fall Fest for auction, we'd love for you to do that. Now, I'm going to tell you one thing that's in there that's not going to go to us. I volunteered some money for the uh, Rotary um, um, Pumpkin Run to be a sponsor and get on their t-shirt to where maybe they'll get on our t-shirt for, uh, you know, our run to shelter. Uh, but I got some tickets, so we have four tickets to the, is it Nokia now? Verizon, I always forget what it's called now. The Verizon, any concert you want to go to, 
So you pick the concert, four tickets, but we're going to give the money back to Rotary to where they can give it away. Maybe to us. Who knows? Maybe to the garden. We gave money to the garden last year. So those are some things that are coming up. How many of you have been on our new web, website since Eric got it changed over? I tell you, it's, it's incredible. It also has a mobile version if you can do that on your phone, which is really easy to use. The thing that I think is exciting about Eric's ministry, to brag on him in front of him, so you know, is, is to say our God moments on Sunday mornings. Haven't those been incredible? And getting all of these things on our website so that if you didn't make it, you can watch a God moment later, you can watch a sermon later, you can, if you go to late service, you can always hear Scott preach. Or if you go to early worship, you can always hear me preach. I think it's a really neat thing that our church is cutting edge when it comes to some stuff now. And I thank uh, Chuck for thinking of hiring Eric in the first place and having that vision and for our church and going th and going through with that. It's, it's really making a difference, guys. Um, I think Joyce Elaine is going to say a little bit about... Uh, Sean is here. Oh, Sean is here. Oh, here you are. Come on up. Um, while she's coming up, don't forget United Methodist Men meet, they did meet yesterday, but second Saturdays at, uh, at Outlaws Barbecue for breakfast, which isn't barbecue, but it's good. And uh, we do some really neat stuff, scholarships uh, for camp and for seniors. But we also do a lot of odd projects, uh, setting up tables, doing all kinds of stuff. And I want to thank Dave Crittenden for leading that group this year. And, and I, I tell you, it's a lot of fun doing breakfast. Hmm? Two years. Two years. It's two out of, it's going on for three. All right, that's good. All right, wait. we just had our elections, Dave, just letting you know. It's always fascinating when I do a sermon on something and I get an email from one of the United Methodist women and says, yes, we read a book on that. Here's the name of the book. You might want to read it, preacher. I don't know that means I did a good job on the sermon, or it means I just wasn't educated as well as they are. Uh, but whatever, whatever works, right? I tell you, our United Methodist women, you don't, if you don't know, they win the district of the conference reading program nearly every year, and they're some of the best read, most intelligent, and informed people that I know in the United Methodist women. So if you're not a United Methodist woman, I am a United Methodist woman. It, it says that in the discipline. All pastors are members of the United Methodist women. So I'm a United Methodist woman. Just want to let y'all know that. Um, but if you're United Methodist and not female, and you'd like to get their reading list, I bet they'd let you have it. Because it's really a wonderful, wonderful... Say again. See, see Dana for that. And she will let you get in on the knowledge base. <coughs> the knowledge base of the United Methodist Church, United Methodist Women. All right, is there anyone else that wishes to inform us about anything? Thank y'all for coming. Thank you for being in on the know. Thank you for wanting to know what's going on at your church. Uh, this will be up on our website. Uh, Eric's going to split it up into different talks, but it'll be up on our website. And if anybody has a question that you didn't feel like uh, got answered, we'll try to figure out a way to do that. But if somebody has a question that you feel like did get answered, send them to the website. They can look it up, listen to this, and they'll know what's going on at the church.